I grew up during the war. I stayed my entire life during the war. I remember asking my dad when I was 11 years old. I asked him, is this how we're going to live for the rest of our life? And he did not answer me because he don't know and he, he can't tell. Because like, she was, he's not, he was not going to say, no, 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 we're not going to be like this in the uh, rest of our life. Because there was bombing every day. There's ground attack all the time. And he had been through this almost his entire life. So he, he cannot tell me that this is not how we're going to be. But then I, I, when I grow up, I, I take this decision of like, no, we can't continue doing this. Like we have to do something else. Like because it's too much, it's, it has been going on forever. I worked for Nonviolent Peace Force about three and a half years, between 2011 to 2014, in South Sudan. I worked in different states. I worked in different uh, projects, different conflict situations. You have to reach to people who are directly involved in this conflict. You have to reach to the most affected people, affected people, because if you don't reach them, for example, if you say, okay, I will go to the government, and government from this side and government from that side to solve this conflict, this conflict will not be solved. Because these people on the grassroots level, they're the most who were directly affected. They were the one whose like, relatives were killed. So they will still go and, you know, kill people from the other side. But we reach to both the government level and the grassroots. So we talk to them. We give them the tools to solve their own conflict. And that would be, the tools would be going and talking to these people. It is scary. It is hard. You cannot do it because if you cross there, they will kill you. Well, the people from that, that side, we also know them. We also go and talk to them. And then we, if people are too scared, we can accompany them. We can go with them as, as a protection to the other side. Because we are there, present we are there, and those people knew, knew us, then they will be like, okay, this is something that maybe we should do. Like, okay, nobody should bring guns or nobody should do anything because these are non-violent peace force people that are coming here. Then they will eventually end up like talking to one another. And after some of the work that uh, we did with non-violent peace force, people came to respect me. Today, I would say, I have a voice in my community.